I'll always wear a hat or a scarf. So I did. Apart from personal history, then money and food would be the other main things. Like they'll say, what's for pudding? And we say, just a piece of fruit. Then, once they're gone, it's out of the dairy milk. Yeah, we lie about that. <laughs> and about how much Margaret earns. We tell them it's less. They can't understand how much money's worth anyway. And I don't want them feeling too cosy. We're not rich. It just sounds like a lot for a kid. But if they look at the world now, they're going to need to try in life. They're going to have to really try. I remember the feel of his hand. This morning, mine. The smell on the top of his head. Being able to pick him up. When he was a tiny baby, I went to Mother Kay and High Road. They had these sleep suits with the sun, moon, and star on. <laughs> I just thought that fantastic. I put them in all sizes. So you were to three months, three to six months, all the way up to 36 months. <laughs> I went a bit mad, I suppose. My greatest fear for the future is that if I don't watch it, by the time the last one moves out, the first one will be wanting to move back in. Well, the idea of that keeps me awake at night. You won for years. <laughs> you can imagine. I can still see him in them. I don't know how to help her. How to make her understand that she is beautiful. Because she really is. That's the hardest thing, I suppose. I look at her and I realise I was beautiful when I was her age. I just couldn't believe it then. It's too late to start now. It's like sand running through an hourglass. Near the end, it looks like it's going much faster. It isn't. I know that. But still. It makes you feel totally out of control. <laughs> I'm making it all sound sad. It isn't. I don't really know why it sounds like it is. That's all you can say about sex and so on. Warn them that the body, the senses, if you like, have a mind of their own. And they won't always want what's best for your long term future. You'll not always feel in control of yourself, and nor will other people. I said to them, go and buy some condoms, leave them in the bathroom with the tampons and the rest. They were up in arms about it. David went bonkers at me. He thinks of them as little girls still. Said, I'm not trying to encourage them to do it, but I don't want them to be too embarrassed to go and buy Durex and then, you know. And then they say, we don't want to discuss sex and drugs and stuff. We just want a rule. Why can't you be more like Grandma? Just tell us, no, you can't do anything at all, ever. <coughs> so I said to them, you two are evidence of how well that approach worked. <laughs> This year, when his 18th birthday was coming up, I was hating him so much. I couldn't even stand the idea of making him a cake. Not that he'd ever meant to wanting one, but honestly, really hating. I thought, I've got to get out of this. For my sake, as much as his. I've got to find a way to remember what it was like before, what we were like. So I thought I'd make him a photo album of his life, to date. But then I thought, am I being mean, you know? Am I going, oh, look how much I love you, but see how much I love you with all my cutting and sticking and... Then I thought, oh, just get on with it. He won't think that. He probably won't even be interested. So I did it. I made him open his birthday presents on our bed, with Kelly there as well. I saved the photo album for last. But he just couldn't stop looking at it. That's what he did. For about an hour, just flicked through the pictures. I said, there are plenty of pages in the back for the future. We can do it again when you're 18. I'm 21. <coughs> I bought some clothes like his. I can't believe I did it. If Bron and me had a row. God knows what I look like in them. Like one of those really vicious ones. 
She's been very nice about it. She'll say, I know I'm only 16, but I don't understand why you don't divorce him. Do it before you're too old to get someone else. Honestly, what do you say in him? That's when she's in a phase of hating her dad. Of course, sometimes it's the other way around. And I'm the villain. The thing is, they've got to experiment with life. I know that. And they've got to feel as though they're doing something wrong because half the time that's the whole fun of it. So you've got to sort of take positions on things you're not that bothered about. They've got to think you're a bit of an old fart. That's sort of the job. He announced he was going on holiday with his girlfriend. Her grandma's in Croatia near the sea. I said, hang on, we need to talk about this first and how much is it going to cost? In the end, we agreed. If he paid half, so we set up jobs for him. Cat feeding, lawn mowing, car washing, all that. Well, he didn't seem that interested. I felt riled, I really did, that he wouldn't make more of an effort. Time was getting on. I started nagging him. Then it dawned on me. I told him about it, in the car. I said, if you really don't want to go, it's all right. I'll be the bad guy. I'll say you're not going. Silence. For miles. So I said, you're not allowed. It's all right. It's over. The slightest nod he gave me. What do you want for tea? I bought a new dress the other day. And the youngest one says to me, you can't wear that, not at your age. <laughs> and I said to her, don't think of me as 36. Think of me as the same age as you, but with 22 years more experience. She changes so fast. You get used to one Kira, and then six weeks later, you've got a completely new one. New friends, new music, everything has changed. And you worry about it. But I suppose you worry for the rest of the lives, won't you? I suppose the only thing worse is if we all move out and I'm too not to enjoy it. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is, they make me laugh. They really, really make me laugh. I can't tell you. If I'm honest, I just think they're brilliant. I really do. That's it in the end. She looks older than what she is. The other day I went to the pub and she asked for a pint of lager. And I bought it for her. It's the first drink we've ever had together. She didn't finish it. Thank you.